And we're moving now while other states are standing still. And we are quickly making up for the time that this state lost. What we forgot somewhere along the way was that if you're not building and you're not developing and you're not going forward, other states are passing you by. You're either moving forward or you're falling back. I used to be the HUD Secretary, Housing and Urban Development, and I used to fly into cities all across the country. And I would literally count the cranes and look at how many construction sites they had going on. And that gave you the sense of the energy of the city or of the region. Because everybody's, this is a competition. New York's in competition with California, Jersey, North Carolina, Florida. Who's developing, who's moving, and who's standing still. And you get a sense of the energy and the future of a place just by how much they're doing and how much they're building. New York, we were like frozen in time. State government wasn't functioning. We had lost our momentum, we had lost our optimism, we had lost our aggressiveness. Everything was about yesterday. We used to do this, we used to do this, we used to do this. There was no talk about the future. No hope, no plans, no vision, no anything. So first we got the government working and then we did what we do best, what made us who we were. We went to work rebuilding the state. Look at who we are as a state. Everything we are that made us great, we did. We built. Nothing was impossible for us. We're going to build the tallest building, the Empire State Building. They build another one, we come back, we're going to build the World Trade Center. They knocked it down, we said, we're going to come back, we're going to build it bigger than ever before, the Freedom Tower. We go to build. We build one bridge, the longest in history. We come back, we build another. We do the George Washington, we do the Verrazano, we do 800 miles of subways when they say it's impossible. That's who we are, that's our culture, not just down to the upstate. I mean, that's what that Erie Canal said. Just think how amazing what they did. We don't want to talk about vision. You want to talk about courage. You want to talk about guts. Guys in New York City don't even know what made New York City, New York City, New York, New York. It was the Erie Canal. Nobody came to New York City to see the Broadway play. They came to get to the Erie Canal. Because government had a vision, New Yorkers had a vision, 1817. Just think of this. Governor's name is D. Wood Clinton. He says, I have a vision, I have an idea. The big question is, what port can give access to the West? because the West at that time was basically the middle part of the country. And the ships were coming from Europe. And how did the ships come from the East Coast to the West? And right at 1817, they had to unload the ships, put them on wagons, and take them to the West. It was a very hard process. Whoever had water access to the West was going to be the state, the city that developed. So Governor Hewitt Clinton in 1817 says, I have a vision. I have an idea. The ships come in the Atlantic Ocean. They come in the New York City port. They go up the Hudson River. They get to Albany. They make a left. They come out in Buffalo. They're in the Great Lakes. Great Lakes, you go wherever you want, and you're in the West. They said, Governor, one question. The ship makes the left at, the, at Albany. Comes out of Buffalo. That's all land. No problem, we'll build a canal. 1817, 524 miles. They said, how are you gonna build a 524 mile canal? He said, yeah, we're gonna do it in seven years. 1817, men, women, mules, that's all there is, no hydraulics, nothing. They said he was insane. They moved to impeach him on the grounds that he had to be crazy to have that idea. <laughs> 